Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 23rd September 2017. I am Sagan Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit, a company based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, and more importantly, how it can help in your trading, you may visit the website www.superiorprofit.co and click on the about menu. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we look at oil, gold, and USA broad market ETFs using Q technical charts. Then we will look into broad market internal analysis, sector and industry analysis using key graphs and ranking table. Along the way, we may go through some of the posts in our traders community and look for possible trades for the coming week. Q&A is throughout the session. You may ask questions through the Q&A panel and I will try to answer them as we go along. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We start by looking at US oil. We are looking at US oil using our standard weekly backdrop template on the left hand side and daily hop on template on the right hand side. Last week, US oil closed strongly higher and this week we see that it mostly moved sideways. The same pattern is playing out in the daily chart. It is at the watermark resistance level. And for last five days, it practically didn't go anywhere. At the right hand side, there is no standard trade setup in US oil. Now we are looking at gold using the same at a glance template. Gold had a strong run from a low point where the weekly backdrop candle color was magenta and it reached the upper boundary in the weekly chart. Last week we saw it displayed a bear release signal and this week it fell down further. In the weekly chart, gold is at the watermark resistance level of the past that may act as a support level going forward. In the daily chart, last week it came to the value area. That time there were multiple memory lines around this price point. I had mentioned that if price went up from there, that might give us a go with flow long trade setup. However, price didn't go up from there. It continued to fall down, hit the yellow direction line and displayed a bull release signal on Friday. There is no standard trade setup at the right edge of the chart. If gold goes up from here, it may give us a low risk entry opportunity. However, it doesn't seem that it will give a standard Q trade setup in next two or three days. This week, let us start with the broad market internal analysis. Then we will go into the broad market ETFs followed by sector and industry analysis. 
we are looking at broad market internals using nasdaq composite index weekly chart on the left hand side NYSE composite index also weekly chart on the right hand side because this analysis is using broad market indices and weekly charts it is to be used only for long term investment decisions not for swing trading and certainly not for day trading the broad market indices continue to be in uptrend as we keep on mentioning it will take time before it turns into downtrend displaying lower high and lower low we see this week nasdaq is weaker than nyse it has a traffic light green color candle but price fell from the opening price of the week nyse made a new all time high on closing basis it has a hollow candle and traffic light candle color is also green in terms of internals they continue to be weak not able to surpass previous highs for specifically this week the internals are mixed three of them tilted down that is new high low on nasdaq up down volume on nasdaq and up down volume on nyse the other three internals tilted up all of them are above zero level so in summary we can conclude that the broad market indices continue to be in uptrend internals continue to be in weakness and for this specific week internals are strong nasdaq went down slightly this week NYSE went up and we see this pattern keeps on repeating sometimes nasdaq is stronger sometimes nyse is stronger and we will see the same thing playing out in the broad market etfs probably showing that the markets are continuing to be indecisive though it is gradually going up as seen from the new all time highs in broad market indices or some etfs there is not much conviction in the move upward let us look at the broad market etfs we are looking at spy using at a glance template we see that though spy made a new all time high on closing basis the weekly candle is indecisive with very narrow body and small upper tail and lower tail it is also an inside candle very narrow range candle in the weekly chart price is at the same level where bearish headwind had come earlier from where price dropped and last two weeks candle patterns are not showing that bulls are strongly in control the same thing we can see from the daily chart for all practical reasons spy has moved sideways this week last week when it made new all time high we had looked at the activity pattern not only in spy but in the other broad market etfs also and observed that though the etfs are slowly going up the high activity days were mostly bearish that is in red color based on that i had summarized last week that i am not concluding that the bull market is in full force though the etfs made all time high that was an accurate analysis because the markets effectively didn't move anywhere at the right end there is no standard trade setup in spy dow jones industrial average was one of the strongest etfs last week this week it went up again made a new all time high however the weekly candle shape is mixed it is hollow with narrow body and has an upper tail 
in the daily chart we see in more detail that it went up for many days the stretch signal was overbought for one two three four five six seven eight nine days and on friday there is a stretch release that is bear release signal friday we can see that price went down with high activity though not very or extreme high and friday's candle shape is very indecisive there is no trade signal at the right edge of dia as well we saw from broad market internals that nasdaq was weaker than nyse similar observation can be made from qqq it is weaker than spy in the weekly chart qqq fell down with a magenta color candle that is backdrop color bearish candle and it closed very close to the memory support line in the daily chart we can see that price tried to go above the watermark resistance level but failed and came down again very close to the memory support line in the daily chart it is inside a kind of wedge or triangle formed by the watermark resistance at the top and memory support at the bottom unless price moves out of this formation decisively there is no clear direction on qqq qqq doesn't have any standard q trade setup at the right edge of the chart iwm went up strongly this is the strongest etf of this way it actually made a new all time high though price couldn't decisively go above the watermark resistance level that was both in weekly and daily chart it is overbought had a long run upward since the bullish headwind signal had appeared so it will not be safe to take any long position right now instead if price tilts down from here it may give us a very low risk short trade opportunity from the broad market internal study and these four broad market etf studies we see that price is at a point where there is no q standard trade setup in any of them and when such situation happens you will see that the q sonar that is the bottom up approach of finding trades or starting from q edge drilling down into stocks that is the top down approach of identifying trades none of the approaches give a lot of trade setups that is a benefit of using the q systems together it tries to keep us out of harm's way when the market is not directional also it allows us to take sideways market trades in stocks that are tilting down or up from major support or resistance levels some such trades were there this week if we have time we may go through some of them looking at the current market condition it would probably be better not to take directional trades unless the industry chart and fundamentals are all aligned every week we look at sector performance of 11 economic sectors across three review periods the red bar represents performance of this week yellow bar performance of one week prior to red bar and blue bar performance of two weeks before the yellow bar together they constitute four weeks or about one month of performance this week five of the 11 sectors gained and six went down 
showing a balanced picture of the market. The same picture is also evident from the broad market ETFs that we studied just now. Utilities declined for the second successive week. Remember when utilities was strong for many review periods, many months, we had already started looking at stocks in utilities and concluded that most of them were at pendulum high. It would not be safe to take long at that time and some were also showing signs of rolling over. That was a good analysis. And now we see utilities dropped for two weeks, not to take additional long position in utilities two, three weeks ago was the right decision. Three industries are now up for all the three review periods. These are energy, industrial, and materials. Probably during this up move for three review periods, that is for last one month, there were long opportunities that you could identify using either top down or bottom up approach using Q systems. One interesting industry continues to be telecom. Remember two weeks ago, it was the worst performer. One week ago, it reversed from being the worst performer to best performer. Based on that last week itself, we had discussed in this weekly market roundup that there may be long opportunities in the sector and its related industries and probably some bottom catching opportunities. Telecom continued to be strong this way, becoming the best performer for the second successive week. We can see that from the length of this yellow bar and the red bar, which are of longest size relative to all the other industries for past two weeks. We may look at some of the stocks in this industry and look for potential long opportunity. When looking at industries best performing in last five days, we see that forest and wood products is strong in recent periods. We can see that from Q Edge and Q Global shows that BCC gave two successive profitable go with flow long trades. Let's look at the Q Edge industry ranking and heat map table to see how forest and wood products is doing in recent period. And then we'll look up BCC using Q charts. Every time we open Q Edge industry analyst, it analyzes 255 industries across 12 monthly review periods and then more frequent periods of recent times, assigns ranks to them, one for the best performer in each of the review periods, 255 to the worst performer, and then also applies a heat map cyan to the best performer, magenta to the worst performer, and a color gradient to all the industries in between. We can click this button to copy the data in the work area where we can slice, dice, filter, etc. Let us look at forest and wood products using the filter We can see that forest and wood products is strong in recent periods. For suing long trade, we are looking for industries which are cyan in the five days review period. Forest and wood products is certainly one of them, it being actually the strongest in this week's ranking, that is rank one. We can click this button or use the hotkey control shift S to drill down to some of its stocks. We can find multiple stocks. BCC is one of them. So we identified an industry 
that is the strongest and then we drill down to one stock BCC. Now we see that this industry was strong for some time now, multiple review periods and therefore there were probably long opportunities between now and last three to four months. Let's look at BCC using Q charts. We are looking at BCC using weekly backdrop template on the left hand side, daily hop on template on the right hand side. We notice that the industry was strong over last three to four months period and is now ranking one, the best performer. This stock BCC went up to upper boundary, came down, tried to go up and came down again in this area, then went up. On this day, there was the first cyan candle after the recent down move prior to that. One could take a long trade on this candle, putting stop just below recent low and profit target at the upper boundary. That trade would work out very nicely and a second go with flow long opportunity came on this cyan candle. Cyan candles are potential go with flow long entry days. Those are the optimal long entries in trend following trade. If somebody kept an eye on the industry strength and drill down to the stocks like BCC, one could take either of these long positions, especially on the second cyan candle. Using early range breakout technique, one could probably enter long on the cyan candle at a price somewhere near the lower end of the candle, giving very attractive reward risk ratio. As price hit upper boundary, partial position would be closed. The industry was pretty strong, so there would not be any reason to close the entire position. The remaining position would still be held, letting profit run. In the weekly chart, price is currently at the watermark resistance level. So one will be cautious and use Q protection signal to apply trailing stop on the remaining position. However, no need to probably exit the remaining position because the industry and the stock both are continuing to be strong at present. We see that professional services is one of the best performers this week. Last week, we had analyzed that though professional services industry was very much down, it would not be appropriate for taking shot in this industry because the industry's drop was mostly due to Equifax sudden drop, sudden and large drop. We had studied that starting from Q edge, drilling down to the stocks, putting the stocks in Q vital and noting from the price performance step that most of the stocks in this industry were actually strong. Equifax was a large cap, relatively large cap company in the group that declined suddenly and largely. That led to the decline in the industry and we concluded even though the industry was magenta, across many review periods, we would not like to try to short any stock. That was a good analysis because the industry turned out to be the best performer this week. Equifax also recovered somewhat. However, there is no standard trade setup in Equifax this week. The telecom sector strength is displayed in two of the industries coming in the top 10 best performing industries. As is often the case, these two were last week's biggest rank improvers. 
as we keep on seeing the biggest rank improvers often end up being the best performers of subsequent weeks this happened again if we look at q edge we can see multiple four telecom related industries are near the top of q edge ranking table what you may do is gather all the stocks by drilling down from these four telecom industries put them in q vital and identify the strongest stocks looking for potential long opportunity that way we are combining the strength of q edge and q vital to identify fundamentally strong stocks in industries that are apparently turning around if we do that exercise we will find jcom is one of the fundamentally strongest stocks jcom as a potential long was discussed in previous market roundup as well using q charts let us look at these four telecom industries combine their stocks and do the peer analysis using q vital to see which one of them are the strongest and jcom will be one of them let us do that now if we filter q edge on telecom industries we see all the four industries were very weak across many review periods and in recent periods it has turned cyan and rank has improved significantly all the four industries are also retaining their cyan color across two days and one days so this may be an opportunity to look for long position both for swing trading as well as for long term investing in telecom related industries note that earlier also once telecom tried to become strong but declined after that so there is no guarantee it will be the actual bottom of the industries but these are the possible turning points and very low risk long entry points for stocks in these industries it is always better to find the fundamentally strongest in these industries so that we can combine the industry strength the fundamental strength as well as technical strength we can click on each of the industries and the get stocks button it will collect the stocks in industry stocks i have already cut and pasted all of them in a q vital tool let me open that q vital allows us to manually enter a list of stocks so all i did is gather the stocks from q edge pasted them in the manual list column and click on the calculator button to calculate their fundamental statistics vital statistics that we can look up from the vital tab we have 62 stocks now we can easily find the strongest ones by filtering by color when we apply filter by color blue on relative value score we are looking for stocks that are strongest relative to its industry peers that is these four telecom industries peers immediately the top 20% of the stocks come up with bold case we can see jcom has one of the best scores for relative value and internal value relative value being 94 internal value the best possible score of 100 but we can just look at the blue color and also the bold case bold case now represents the top 20% or bottom 20% of the stocks why jcom also catches the eye is because it has relatively strong growth in the peer list 
again we can see from the bold case that it is among the top 20 percent in terms of eps growth over five and three years and also revenue growth over five years revenue growth over three years is also quite strong shown by the green color in fact, if you look at this list of stocks, which are having high relative value score, JCOM is the one with best combination of both growth, that is the EPS and revenue growth columns, and the valuation. So this may be a good stock to look for long opportunities. Let's look at its technical charts. From the weekly chart, we see that after moving sideways for a while in this week, JCOM dropped below the watermark support level. The drop was associated with earnings. And after that, now for one, two, three, four, five, seven weeks, JCOM is not dropping anymore. Last week itself, we saw that the backdrop candle color was yellow for three successive weeks. And we had noted the weekly candle shape was very indecisive. The same thing continues to be this week also. We have a neutral backdrop color candle and indecisive candle shape. In the daily chart, it is creating a nice base. If in the next week it breaks out of this memory resistance line, it may give us a low risk, long entry opportunity. There is no standard trade setup on this chart. Let me change to advanced top on template so we can see the stretch signals. We see that JCOM was oversold at this point and as it moved sideways for several weeks, the oversold condition has disappeared there is no stretch dot below the candles on the right hand side. If it breaks above this memory resistance, it may give us a low risk long entry opportunity. No standard trade setup, but looking at the industry strength, Jacob's fundamental strength, and the formation of base after the drop related to earnings, one may take a low risk long entry position. Stop will be just below the watermark support level or if somebody wants to give more leeway just below this memory support level. Usually superior profit traders don't like to take breakout trades except when the breakout results in a very low risk entry opportunity which is true in this case. Because there is no standard trade setup one may try such long opportunity only if the industry is continuing to strengthen, which we can see by opening Q edge in real time. Also, it may be safer to use real time fine tune chart to take such long position with very narrow stop loss using the real time early range or other pivot levels. If we look at the industries with worst performance in last five days, we see three of them are related to household expenditure or expenditure related to home products, home furnishing retailers, housewares and specialties and household products. Last week we had studied home improvement retailers and we saw lumbar liquidator LL was one of the fundamentally weakest in the group. Home improvement retailers is not in the list of worst performing industries this week, but it is related to these three industries. LL is not in clear downtrend, but it has displayed a bearish flow color candle in daily chart on Friday. Because it is very overvalued, this may give us a short trade opportunity.
with very low risk. Let's look at the chart. We see that Lama liquidator had a very sharp rally with the biggest candle coming during earnings. After that, it tried to go above the high near earnings, breaking the watermark resistance level. But in last two weeks, it has fallen below that watermark resistance level, completing a false upside breakout in the weekly chart. The weekly backdrop candle color is magenta. In the daily chart, we see that the stock is not in downtrend. So strictly speaking, we are not going to apply go with flow short trade setup. However, looking at the stock's fundamental weakness in terms of overvaluation and that multiple related industries are in worst performance list this week, one may attempt a short trade with very low risk. We stop just above recent high and target at the lower boundary line or the ascending white direction line. Once again, because this is not a standard trade setup, we are not supposed to apply go with flow short trade setup unless the market is in downtrend, which is not true in this case. So it is not a standard approach of trading in superior profit. It may be safer, therefore, to attempt short entry using Q fine-tuned real-time chart, which allows us to have very low risk entry. And also to take such short trade only if its related industry is deteriorating at the same time, which we can look up from Q edge. These stocks are very overvalued, lumbar liquidator, that we can check from Q Vital because they are overvalued and it is moving neither up nor down in the daily chart, just meandering. So I would not like to take a long trade right now in lumbar liquidator. Also the weekly candle color has become magenta stock is overvalued. So this is not a stock where I prefer to take a long position. Short position looks more attractive to me at the right edge of this chart. If we look at home furnishing retailers, drilling down from Q edge and analyzing the stocks using Q Vital, you may see that both BBBY, Bed Bath and & Beyond and PR Imports, I think PIR is PR Imports, dropped by 20% or more in last five days. BBBY's drop was associated with earning result. PIR's earning is not out yet. It is actually optimally valued, pays a decent dividend, 6.75%. It has earnings next week. On Q Global charts, PIR is near memory support. From Q options template, you may see that it has extreme high options pricing. It is near memory support. If it goes to the memory support and tilts up, then it may give us a bounce long trade setup, which may result in a low risk trade opportunity using short put verticals. Because earnings is nearby, we would not like to risk our money by taking stock long positions. However, we may take a put verticals option position that will benefit if the stock goes up. That will also benefit from the volatility drop that will result after the earnings. Let's look at Q8 and drill down to find the stocks analyze them from Q Vital, and then finally look at Q charts. When we look at home furnishing and home furnishing retailers in Q edge, we can see that both of them 
are bearish with magenta color across five days period. So these are not optimal industries to take a long position. I see that over one day period, home furnishing retailers, this industry has improved rank from 213 to 125. The rank improvement has also resulted in the color changing slightly towards cyan. If we drill down on the stocks, we get several stocks. We can copy and paste them in Q Vital. Then we can go to the Vital Statistics tab and we can see that both BBBY and PIR have optimal valuation and also strong earnings quality. The bold case instantly shows that PIR is actually the strongest in terms of valuation. It has poor growth. A stock we can decide as fundamentally strong based on either growth or valuation. It is unlikely that a stock will have good valuation and strong growth at the same time. So we can say in terms of valuation, PIR is attractive. If we look at the price performance, we see that both PBBY and PIR dropped by 20% or more in last five days. BBBY's drop was associated with earnings. From vital tab, we can see that PIR has earnings next week, 27 September. If earnings is nearby, the next EPS date shows up with red background. So it can immediately attract our attention. Let us look at PIR chart using at a glance template. Looking back, we see that PIR had a nice up run, then fell back to almost the starting point. Displayed a bullish headwind, went up for three successive weeks with cyan backdrop color, that is bullish backdrop color candle. And this week, it reversed sharply, dropping by more than 20%. This drop is just before earnings. Price is near memory support line, both in daily chart and weekly chart. This drop seems to happen at the same time that a related stock, BBBY, dropped after announcing earnings. So maybe people thought that PIR will also have similarly unexpected, I don't know good or bad, similarly unexpected earnings. Maybe some of the earnings results are already priced in this 20% drop. However, we'll not just trade based on such hypothesis, we'll wait for price to come to the memory support and tilt back up because there were very high activities over many days, many recent days, a tilt back up from the memory support line will give us a bounce long trade setup. Because earnings is very close, we are not going to risk our money on buying stock probably. However, shorting put vertical may be appropriate. More so because the options are very highly priced right now that we can check from the options template. In the options template, the candles are colored based on option pricing, which is calculated based on implied volatility. The implied volatility is very high now. And when that happens, the candles are colored with cyan at the extreme high level or green. Both are considered very high. So the high option prices, the fact that the stock is very close to memory support line, and the fact that it has already dropped by 20% this way, may give us a very low risk long entry opportunity using short put verticals.
Every week we look at the biggest strength improvers and decliners because often these industries end up being the best or worst performers in subsequent weeks. We see construction materials is one of the biggest strength improvers. If we drill down from QH, running a peer analysis of the stocks in QVital, you will see EXP is having the best growth. That is one criteria of identifying fundamentally strong companies. And EXP gave a very profitable box long trade setup on 28th August. The industry had been strong for a while. So if you were using QH and Q charts, probably you could combine the vital fundamentals and Q charts box long trade setup to buy the stock at almost the lowest possible price in recent times with very minimum risk, setting stop using Q protection level. Let's start with Q edge, find the construction materials industry, how it is improving rank and strength, drill down and then finally look at EXP's fundamental strength and its technical charts. When we filter QH across industries related to construction, we see that some of them were strong for quite long time. Some of them were weak and now turning into strength. For swing trading, our primary time period to look at is this five days review period. Let's drill down into construction materials. Then we see EXP is one of the stocks. We can copy and paste all of them into QVital. Calculate the vital statistics scorecard. And we can see from this Q vital statistics that none of the stocks have good combination of optimal valuation and growth. PGEM has optimal valuation. Let's look at this stock using Q charts. This has an interesting looking chart. PGEM dropped rapidly during latest earnings, tried to go up, created a double bottom, went up from there. At the right edge, it is going above all the four direction lines. This is the stock having most optimal valuation in QVital. Weekly candle shape is very bullish. Weekly candle color, backdrop candle color is also bullish cyan. In the daily chart, it is inside a triangle pattern formed by resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom. So we are not going to take any long trade right now. We have two possible entries for long. One is to let the price drop to the memory support and using Q fine tune, enter a long right at the memory support level. Of course, using Q fine tune chart, real time chart, that will give us very low risk entry point. Even if we get stopped out, the stop loss will be very narrow. The other possibility is let PGEM go up, break above the memory resistance, come back down and tilt back up again, giving us a true go with flow long trade setup, stop loss being just below that swing low, that is a low risk go with flow long entry opportunity. You may keep an eye on this stock for that. So we found PGEM to be the stock with most optimal valuation. In terms of growth, EXP seems to be 
the fundamentally strongest stock in this peer group. If we go to the fundamental step, we can see the EPS growth is impressive, 47% over five years. Strong still across three years, 18 plus percentage. And revenue growth is also quite strong, 19% plus over five years and 10% plus over three years. EXP also had a strong rally in the weekly chart earlier, around September 2016. Then it came down and in this week, it created a false downside breakout. That was clearer in the daily chart. After many days of moving sideways and tilting down, on this cyan candle, it completed a false downside breakout. That was the first candle with heavy bullish activity. The candle color was cyan bullish and the candle shape was also strongly bullish, long hollow candle. So that met all the conditions of a box long trade setup. This stock is fundamentally strong. So at that point, one could take a box long trade setup that would combine the fundamental strength of the stock with the optimal buy point on technical charts. As the stock went up and hit the watermark resistance level, at least partial profit will be booked. Remaining position could be held and one may still hold those positions at the right edge of the chart. In this way, if we keep an eye on stocks which are giving trade setups using Q sonar and then check with its industry strength and also fundamental strength using Q edge and Q vital respectively, we can combine multiple forces in favor of our trade and take the trade more confidently. If we remember the Q edge pattern of construction materials, on this hand candle day, probably the industry was not showing strength. So we would not be able to combine all the three dimensions, that is industry, fundamental and technical with our trade, but at least two of the factors, that is fundamental strength and optimal buy point and technical charts. Healthcare distribution is another industry that is showing big rank improvement. If we look into QA, we can see the gradual transition from the heat map and that shows that this may be an attractive industry to look for buy opportunities. If we drill down from QA, we find multiple stocks, we can put them in Q vital. And then we find that multiple stocks, HS, IC, PDCO, CAH, ABC, MCK, are having gradually better fundamentals. So MCK seems to have the best fundamental, HS, IC the worst in this list of stocks. And if we then look up the stocks using Q charts, you will see that the fundamental strength is almost exactly mirrored in the technical charts. And MCK, that is the strongest fundamentally, gave a go with flow long signal on last Thursday, 21st September. Let's start with Q edge for healthcare distributors, drill down to the stocks look at their fundamentals using Q vital and then finally look at some of the stocks chart. We'll remember HSIC and MCK at minimum so we can look at the weakest as well as the strongest stock. Healthcare distributors 
we can instantly see from the heat map that it was weak for many review periods. Over five days, it improved rank significantly from 248 to 160. The color is still magenta, but over two days and one day period, it improved rank much more. The color changing to cyan. Such heat map shows us that we may be able to catch the stocks in this industry right at the point the industry is turning around. So I keep an eye on them. You can drill down to its stocks. We find several of them. Let's put them in Q Vital. Calculate the vital statistics. And we can see that HSIC is the weakest. It is the only one with internal value in magenta that is weak. Relative value is yellow, but has the lowest score. So in terms of valuation, this is the weakest. In terms of growth also, it is pretty weak. So if we combine valuation and growth, HSIC seems to be the weakest in this list of stocks. On the other hand, MCK has strong valuation blue color for both relative and internal valuation and has good growth as well. ABC has good internal valuation but neutral relative valuation growth is the best. So on balance we can see that HSIC is the weakest. After that PDCO which has neutral relative valuation, then maybe ABC followed by CAH and MCK. This gradual transition from relative weakness to strength in fundamentals is almost exactly reflected in the technical charts. So let's look at at least HSIC, the weakest and MCK, the strongest using Q technical charts. By the way, this column earnings quality, this tells us whether the earnings data that is available is reliable, meaning there is not much one-time factors contributing to earnings or the company is not changing earnings calculation method from quarter to quarter. If they do so, then the earnings data becomes not so reliable. Again, the 100 is the best possible score. One is the worst possible score. We just need to look at the color. Blue meaning it is strong. Magenta meaning it is weak. Let's look at the charts, HSIC and MCK. HSIC is clearly weak. It has two successive weeks of very large drops. There is no support point nearby. There is a bullish headwind sign in the daily chart, but that alone is not enough to take a long reversal trade. There is no standard Q trade setup. Still, the bullish headwind is showing that maybe there is some chance of the stock turning around. If not immediately, it may try to go up, come back down, try to test this low created by the bullish headwind may go up from there. Anyway, at right edge, there is no trade setup. Fundamentally, this was the weakest and technically also it seems to be the weakest. Before looking into MCK, let's look at ABC, which is somewhere in between. ABC's fundamental strength is better than the stock we just saw, but worse than MCK. The same is reflected in technical charts. It had a large drop associated with earnings, which resulted in a large gap down day. Since then, price is not able to go down much. It tried to go below the watermark support in weekly, but went back up. At that point, it created a false breakout 
at the same time in daily chart it tried to go up hit the yellow declining direction line came down and at the right edge it has given us a cyan color candle in weekly the color is neutral though the shape is strongly bullish with a long lower tail however we will not take any long position right now in abc because it is inside a triangle formation like we saw in another stock we may have two ways of taking a long trade in abc one is to let the price come down to the memory support and try to use fine tune real time chart to take a long position precisely at the memory support level if such an opportunity comes the other possibility is for letting the stock go up above the memory resistance come back down and tilt up again giving us a very low risk go with flow long trade opportunity at the right edge there is no trade opportunity using q standard trade setups so this stock was fundamentally somewhere in the middle and technically also it is somewhere in the middle let's now look at mck fundamentally mck has the best balance of growth and valuation and the chart is also the strongest in the weekly chart it came down recently and came exactly to the memory support line went up from there two weeks ago it tried to reverse and this week again bounced stop exactly from the memory support line so if somebody was keeping an eye on the memory support available both in weekly and daily chart using fine tune real time chart one could probably enter a long trade on this red candle itself one would not try to take long trade on two previous red candles because they were solid candles meaning if we were watching them using fine tune chart they would be going below early range low not going above early range high however this red candle came precisely to the memory support level and went up from there and we can imagine that on fine tune chart it had a early range breakout trade in the long direction the trade could be held over next two days and this is already a very profitable trade knowing that early range breakout allows us to take a trade where stop loss is in 5 minutes time frame whereas we are targeting to precisely enter a swing trade which is in daily time frame so our stop loss is very narrow on thursday it gave us a cyan color candle that was a valid go with flow long trade setup so if somebody was not a large trader entering long using fine tune on wednesday they could at least enter the long trade on thursday that was at the same time the industry was strengthening and this stock being one of the fundamentally strongest in the industry so we could align all the factors in favor of this trade let's see using fine tune if wednesday's possible entry using real time chart would stop out or will it give us a valid entry opportunity we are looking at mck using 10 minute chart fine tune template i am using 10 minute chart so that we can see the movement of last couple of days on the same screen before going into this chart let us look at the memory support line from the daily chart memory support 
on Wednesday would be around 148.47. Let's go back to fine tune chart. In fact, in the five minute chart, fine tune chart, we can see the memory support line. This is the memory support line. Price came to the memory support precisely on this candle. It would not be an early range breakout trade because price was not near memory support. So it, if we wanted to enter a long trade using early range breakout, that would be possible. That will be a day trade, but for a precise entry of a swing trade, we would need a proper bounce trade setup that is for price to come to memory support first, which happened on this candle. Then on the cyan candle, price went above early range high. So a long entry could be taken at the close of this candle. In this case, stop will be below the memory support line. That stop was never hit. At the end of the day, partial position could be booked if somebody wanted to. And if somebody wanted to enter it as a swing trade, that would be possible. Next two days, Thursday and Friday, the price went up. In this way, by keeping an eye on the memory support that was on daily chart, one could use fine tune to precisely enter the long trade. However, when I now look at the chart, I see that this bounce long opportunity, that is when price hit the memory support and went back giving us a sand candle that happened late in the afternoon. At least in my trading style, I am not going to wait whole day looking for a possible precise entry. So probably I will not be able to take advantage of that with my lifestyle. Instead, I could take the trade on Thursday's close using our proper go with flow long trade setup. So here we saw how we could look at an industry strength from rank improvement, drill down into stocks, categorize the stocks based on their fundamental strength using QVital, and then keep an eye on Q charts of them to take a possible long entry in one of the stocks, MCK. If we look at the industries with biggest rank declines, then we find Tesla, is part of auto and truck manufacturers, which had very big rank decline this week. Tesla gave us a very profitable box short setup. Textbook example of box trade setup came on 19th September, Tuesday. It refers precisely from both weekly and daily watermark resistance levels with heavy activity. And in QVital, we can see that Tesla was already overvalued. So again, we could combine the industry's direction, that is the rank decline, with a stock that was fundamentally weak, very overvalued, and then on technical chart, an optimal short entry point. Let's start from QH and drill down. When we look at the automobile industries, Immediately, auto and truck manufacturer catches the eye. All the auto-related industries were strong in recent periods. And auto and truck manufacturers is the only one that declined in rank heavily over five days period. We can see instantly from the heat map changing from cyan to magenta and also the only one that is holding on to the magenta color over two days and one day period. We could keep an eye on this in real time, see that though multiple auto-related industries were weakening, auto and truck manufacturers was weakening most. So we could drill down 
get a number of stocks put them on q vital calculate the vital statistics using the calculator button go to the vital tab and instantly we can see in terms of valuation tesla is the weakest it's the only one with magenta color in relative valuation so in terms of valuation it was very overvalued last earnings was actually negative so fundamentally we could say it was a weak stock in terms of valuation so we could keep an eye on a stock like that using q charts when we look at tesla using q charts we see that price tried to come to the watermark resistance in weekly precisely reversed from there it reversed heavily with a long solid candle and the backdrop candle color has also turned magenta the same pattern played out in more detail in the daily chart we can see it went to the watermark and exactly reversed from there so if we were keeping an eye on tesla using real time fine tune chart one would be able to take a shot precisely at this point that was using real time chart if we are using end of day analysis then on this day the yellow candle with a bear release signal which was preceded by very heavy activity this yellow candle gave us a valid box short trade opportunity in a stock that was fundamentally weak in terms of valuation and the industry was weakening stop loss would be just above recent high one could book profit at least partial profit once the risk distance was covered or once the next support that is the yellow direction line was hit that would be friday price is near memory support so that would be another reason to book profit in any case when the ascending yellow direction line is hit and our risk distance is covered q traders will book at least partial profit so this trade is already profitable if that is ford is at a similar watermark resistance now as tesla was last week it is overbought as seen from q stretch signal on technical charts if has the poorest growth among its peers so you may keep an eye on ford if is ford for potential short entry opportunity there is no opportunity right now but you may keep an eye on that we see that semiconductor industries several of them are among the biggest rank decliners when i drill down i see that several of them are at pendulum high in q charts and they are all overvalued in q vital so it may not be a time to enter long in them they are at pendulum high and overvalued instead look for possible short opportunity there is no short opportunity right now but if you look at these stocks nvidia oled slab xilinx and marvel i think mrvl is marvel you can look it up all of them are showing some sign of weakness not enough sign to take a short trade but not able to go up in this week let us look at some of them let's look at nvidia oled and marvel we discussed nvidia in one of the recent weekly market roundups i think on this candle it was magenta color i had mentioned that it was just above memory support so it would not be right to try to take short trade but keep an eye it didn't break the memory support instead it strongly went up there was no apparent reason for it to go up it broke above the watermark support but next few days last 1 2 3 4 5 days 
it moved sideways or came down. But it is not bearish enough to take any short trade. At the same time, it is at pendulum high. The weekly candle shape is bearish, so it is not time to take a long trade either. The same pattern is visible in several other semiconductor stocks. OLED also broke above the watermark level. Strong up move, but last three days from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it gave back all the gain with three successive solid candles. Weekly has a very bearish shape candle. In weekly, if it goes below the watermark resistance level, it will complete a false upside breakout. Let's look at Xilinx. It's a similar pattern again. It broke above the watermark resistance, displayed a bearish headwind, though that candle had very long lower tail. Has yellow traffic light candle color for last three days, the highs are successively lower. Friday's candle is hollow, that is bullish shape. Quickly, we again have a candle with upper tail, though the body is solid, so somewhat mixed in shape. If next week price goes below this watermark resistance in weekly, Xilinx will also create a false upside breakout. Last stock in this industry we may look at is Marvel. Same pattern, but here in weekly chart, price tried to go above the watermark resistance and now came back below that. So it has already completed a false upside breakout. Weekly candle color is still bullish cyan, but the shape is bearish. In daily chart, we see the same pattern playing out, price trying to go above watermark resistance and creating a false upside breakout. It was accompanied by a bearish headwind signal. Because the weekly candle color is still bullish, though the false breakout was completed in this candle, there was no standard box short trade setup. Though there is no standard Q trade setup in any of the semiconductor stocks we saw, they are showing some weakness, meaning they are not able to hold on to the very top that they made one week before. If we look at the semiconductor industries using Q edge, we see a similar pattern. The industries were very strong for many periods, many months. It weakened somewhat over five days period, but not magenta enough to let us take a short swing trade. If they continue to be weaker in the coming weeks, then the heat map color across five days will turn more magenta that may coincide with optimal short opportunity in the technical charts of some of these stocks. You may keep an eye on that. There is a comment on analyst upgrade on NVIDIA. In my experience, analyst upgrade, when the stock is at pendulum high, all time high, the industry is already strong for many months and showing some weakness, color changing from sand to magenta. Those are times to be very careful about the analyst upgrades. Anyway, there is not much correlation with analyst upgrades and stock moves. If anything, if I see analysts upgrading a stock that is already at pendulum high, I am careful about my long holdings in that stock. <laughs> Better sell them and run. You can always analyze Q edge industries more. If we sort the industries over five days in ascending order, we find the strongest industries at the top. The ones of 
special interest will be ones which were magenta for many months and now turning cyan over five days and holding on to that color over two days and one day. Professional services may not be the right industry because its drop was associated with Equifax drop and maybe the rank improvement is also associated with that. You may look at research and consulting services. Not sure if that is also related with Equifax. Let's drill down. Yes, Equifax. Sometimes the same stock may be part of multiple industries. So we are not going to look for long opportunity in professional services or research and consulting services. Trucking is already cyan bullish for some time. Advertising may be one possible industry for looking for swing long opportunity also probably longer term investment opportunity subject to our findings from fundamentals and technical charts. This is interesting because it was magenta for many months from 12 months to month one over 10 days rank improved significantly over five days rank improved even more over two days and one day period the cyan color is holding. You may keep an eye on advertising. If we sort it on the reverse order, you can see the weakest industries, most of them are already weak for many months. So the optimal time to take a shot in them might have already passed. Industrial rate may be one to look for short opportunities. It was strong for many months in recent period. It has turned magenta and holding on to the magenta color. I'll not drill down into the stocks of this industry. However, you have the tools. You may spend some time to look for additional trades. As we saw from the broad market analysis, the market is indecisive. So we will be careful before taking any directional trades, that is go with flow trades. If there are good reversal opportunities like was there in Tesla, it may be safer to take those trades right now. There is a comment on HR block. It's HRB, is it? Let's look at that. This looks like a good finding. Thanks, David. In the weekly chart, price came down heavily, came to the level that was watermark resistance earlier, but didn't quite touch that level. Dropped heavily, the drop was associated with earnings result. On this day, there was a huge gap down day the down move continued. The traffic light candle color was red for a while and then it turned yellow. Since then, it hasn't turned back to red. It had a bull release signal on this candle. Activity was heavy during the drop, but there was no standard Q trade setup in this area because I don't see any memory support at that point, neither was there any watermark support in weekly or daily at that point. So there was no standard Q trade setup in this area, the sidewise move area. At the right edge also, there is no, strictly speaking, there is no Q standard trade setup. It has a cyan color candle. It has gone above the white direction line and of course above the magenta and cyan direction lines. The movements are green. It has a bullish shape candle, but we will not be able to take any standard go with flow trade setup because the weekly is not cyan yet. In those cases, some Q traders may take a trade based on their personal judgment on the stock, though there is no standard trade setup. You may look up the fundamentals of this stock from QVITAL. 
let's do that before we end our session today we instantly can see that hrb has optimal valuation pays a reasonable dividend in fact the highest dividend in the list of these stocks growth is not strong that is expected we don't expect optimal valuation and strong growth at the same time the only other stock only other two okay this is also hrb so LAUR and ATG also has optimal valuation, but ATG has negative growth. We can see from the shades, background shades, that ATG has negative growth. HRB has poor growth, but not negative because it has no background shade. So HRB may be fundamentally strong in this list of stocks. belongs to personal services it's a tax calculating company let's look at the personal services using qh personal services industry was strong earlier we can little bit and now getting strong again so there is no standard q trade setup on the technical charts however the industry is strong over five days period cyan color in qh and fundamentally among its peers hrb is strong so one may combine that and their following of hrb on a regular basis may give them an additional insight into the stock and they may take a long trade based on that that is all that i plan to share in today's session thanks again for joining I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great weekend and trade profitably. Mm -hmm.